Alpha. The stories are endless. They could be real or completely out of this world. Art. Ça va depuis mon enfance à regarder des films avec mes sœurs quand j'étais petite en famille. It focuses on people's faces. You can see into them. There is a deep soul in there. It allows creativity. Um, it allows craftsmanship. Because as a human, it's we're all storytellers. Beyond any imagination. In recognition of the creative community's ever-evolving passions. The new Cinema Line. It felt very foreign at first, but because it's a new piece of technology, but after the first tutorial, it felt like second nature. It was uh, such a great experience and allows us to think in different way. In the future, I imagine it becoming more of a standard. Ça ressemblait plus à un stromboscope comme dans les euh, années disco. It gives a lot of great flexibility. Uh, you can position it in all sorts of different places and you can adjust everything remotely and it makes things a lot easier and quicker on set. This is a whole new style with 4K full frame image sensor and interchangeable lenses for cinematic expression with remote pan, tilt, zoom operation. Sparking the artistry and imagination of creators everywhere. Fusion of Cinema Line's image quality and new technology. Cinematography meets robotics. The all new FR7. My first impression upon unboxing this camera, I really was impressed with how compact it was and being told of its capabilities. The, the tilting and the spinning and the rotation of it, I, I didn't believe it. We wanted to create something really dynamic. There's been scenes before where we've seen the camera rotating around inside the car, but we wanted to add something more to it, something a little bit more special. So being able to have a small compact camera that doesn't stick out and was able to fit through the sunroof perfectly was just perfect for that shot. We could change the lenses very quickly. I like to see the 50 and the 35. Oh no, no, back to the 50, sorry. Because it's so quick that I'm able to view and test a few different looks before we start shooting. Working with this camera is great. Uh, you can really use the camera in specific situations and then use the FX6 and the Venice as your main cameras the rest of the time, and everything just works together perfectly. The ability to control the zoom and the pan and tilt with one hand in a very smooth motion is a new tool that I've never worked with before. It's more than just a high quality camera. And it's more than just a high performance remote camera. It will change how you shoot and change how you create. Expand the future of visual storytelling. FR7. Now let's take a closer look at it. World's first remote pan, tilt, zoom camera. With interchangeable lenses, FR7 offers new possibilities for visual storytelling. So the unconventional scene we're able to take with the FR7 is that we had this shot in a bedroom where a sheet would fall onto the camera lens, which is the POV of the woman in the film. Pointed it up at a minus 90 degree angle and programmed it to spin in a 340 degree move. And we're able to do this because we had such a small compact camera and we were able to, they gave us the freedom to move it around this small location. FR7 provides stable camera work at very low speeds that cannot be achieved by human operation. Program a pan and tilt that was incredibly slow. 
They give a mechanical feel to it where a human hand would not be able to execute. So the ability to control the camera in a precise, slow movement. So this moves creates suspense, but also builds curiosity within the audience. With interviews, there's always a problem of intimacy. When you're trying to get to the soul of the conversation and you're trying to get very authentic responses from your subjects, it's very difficult when there is a lot of crew on set. And having FR7 available allowed us basically eliminate almost everybody from set. And we have the operator in a different room operating all these different cameras. And you know, it's really nice to be able to control this camera remotely because in very intimate scenes, very emotional scenes, it's nice to give the actor their privacy so they can be vulnerable, be sensitive, and perform without a lot of people in the room, including myself. The FR7 can record up to 100 pan, tilt, zoom, and focus positions to reproduce the same camera work over and over again. Setting a preset, I get to set the endpoint exactly how I want it, and it allows me to focus on the timing of the actor reaching the phone booth instead of trying to frame it properly. And in this specific scene, I was always watching the shadows that she was creating, and I always wanted her to cross camera first and then execute the move, and the camera would catch up to her, and at the end point, it would stop right when she reached the phone booth. For one of the scenes, we wanted to set up a VFX shot where we multiplied the crowd. And at the same time, we wanted to have some camera movement as well. So we used the preset system to set up a preset tilt and then shot the scene multiple times with our actors multiple positions. And then our post-production team will take that and composite all those shots together to make one big shot. The FR7 is the only remote camera that allows you to quickly combine the best lenses from a wide range of E-mount lens systems. I think one of the great things about the FR7 is the fact that you're able to have a wide selection of lenses you can make use of, you can shoot wide open, you can make use of the variable ND built in to really dial in that just that right uh, look that you're going for, whether you want to get really shallow depth of field or deep, deep depth of field. Une autre chose qui était uh, uh, très simple, c'était de uh, uh, balance uh, the lens, ça veut dire uh, uh, être sûr que la, la lentille à chaque position ne bouge pas. C'était très simple de balance uh, la lentille. FR7 has a bokeh control effect to control depth of field while maintaining the same exposure. The FR7 comes with a new dedicated web app for smart, intuitive camera control. Not only pan, tilt, zoom, but you can also control iris, ISO, and all other camera parameters. One of the advantages of working with the FR7 is you're able to control it wirelessly from a tablet. And that means I can walk around the set, I can look at different angles, and I can control everything remotely without having to stand right next to the camera. The web app is incredibly impressive, especially because you're able to create multiple monitors for every department head. Each having our own tablet, we were able to focus on our individual jobs. Pour plusieurs plans, Al avait la tablette avec le contrôle. Moi, j'avais la tablette pour m'occuper du focus. So the web app, the way it's designed and organized and separated, it's all intuitive. FR7 is also compatible with the physical RMIP500 remote controller. This enables even more intuitive pan-tilt-zoom operation using the joystick. Fast hybrid AF which analyzes the subject's movement in real time with 627 measuring points, ensures more reliable cinematic remote shooting with shallow depth of field. So I used to be a focus puller. So I used to, you know, pull focus wirelessly. And so like I was used to pulling focus on my, on my own. To have a system do it for you and being pretty precise is pretty amazing and scary. With high speed, high precision autofocus, Creators can concentrate on getting their ideal angle, even under conditions where focusing is difficult. So to be able to slow down time with a high frame rate, 
It allows us to focus on the nuances of a performance. The FR7 has a built-in electronic variable ND filter, which is well established in the FX6 and other models. Having a built-in VND on the camera is really great because you're really able to dial in the exposure perfectly while getting the aperture just like you like it. The FR7 provides a wide dynamic range of 15 plus stops for cinematic expressions. Knowing that it has 15 plus stops the dynamic range, I'm able to really push the highlights and really push the shadows in certain situations. If this is a good camera, is if it can capture skin tones in an appealing, natural state. It has the same look characteristics as the Cinema Line series cameras. This allows for consistent tone control, even in multi-camera shoots combined with FX6 and other cameras. It's really nice to have one for 800, which I'm the most comfortable lighting for. But in certain situations when we need a little bit more light, having the base setting of 12,800 is very useful, especially when we're shooting at night with LED lights in high frame rates. We're using smaller lights, we're using LEDs, and we're working on smaller crews sometimes, and you know, having that capability in the sensor is really a good tool. In addition to these, S-Log3 and S-Gamut3.Cinec gamut 3 can be selected to record more color gamuts and tones for more creative grading. It also features S-Cinetone, a look that has an established reputation in the Cinema Line series. Rich neutral colors and natural skin tones are recorded on set. FR7 supports internal recording of XAVC format in the MXF wrapper. XAVCI 422 10-bit Class 300 at DCI 4K is available. This makes for good compatibility with other Cinema Line cameras. FR7 has built-in dual media slots for recording these high-quality images. Both slots support CF Express Type A, which enables high bitrate 4K video at high frame rate and also supports SDXC cards. Intended for use in a wide range of professional shooting styles, the FR7 is equipped with a variety of interfaces. HDMI Type A, 12G SDI out, and XLR 5-pin audio in. TC in terminal and Genlock terminal are also provided for multi-camera shooting. Everything we do always starts with the creators. It is our mission to provide the tools and spark to drive their passion and creativity ever further. Our ongoing challenge remains to continue innovating products that help move the world of creativity forward. <laughs>